Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for the organizing committee for selecting this <coughs> work for this presentation, for these sessions. I am very glad to share with you the global 48-week result from Andes study based on dual therapy uh, with darunavir, ritonavir, plus 3TC, comparing a standard of treatment in people, uh, HIV people living with HIV. I don't have conflict of interest. This was an initiative, uh, investigator initiative study supported um, by Richmond Pharmaceutical and the Ministry of Science and Technology from Argentina. As you know, dual therapy has been explored in different studies, different settings, and different drug combination. On the other hand, in Argentina, a, a genetic fix uh, those combination of darunavir 800 milligram and ritonavir 100 milligram is available for naive treatment, for start uh, naive uh, treatment. Uh, therefore, uh, in 2015, we designed a study to compare efficacy and safety of the fixed dose combination plus 3TC comparing a standard of treatment or triple therapy based on the same drug plus tenofovir defumarate. The primary endpoint of the study was the percentage of, percentage of patients with viral load less than 50 copies in an intention to treat exposed uh, analysis at week 48. This was a randomized, open-label, phase four study, which included 336 participants in two uh, stages, as per planet protocol. The main inclusion criteria I are described in the box. The randomization was uh, uh, performed in two arms, dual therapy, when we include 171 subjects, and triple therapy, when we include 165 subjects. Uh, of note, um, this study, uh, the first stage, the result of the first stage of this study was presented in 2018, uh, at Croy, when we include 145 participants for the analysis, and here and today we are presenting the pool analysis of the both stages. Regarding baseline characteristics, as you can see, and this is a lie, a distribution between age, age gender, his behavior, CD4 count, a viral load and a CDC stage were similar between arms. Uh, overall, um, they had a good CD4 status and most of them were asymptomatic at the enrollment. Of now, about 20% of the participants had a viral, uh, plasma viral load over uh, 100,000 copies. In, term, in terms of the results, uh, the primary endpoint of the study in an intention to treat the exposed analysis using FDA snapshot, snapshot algorithm uh, show non-inferiority between ARM with 93% in triple therapy and 91 in dual therapy. Also, we observed the same result, a similar result, the non-inferiority in per protocol population. When we analyze the um, population with more than 100,000 copies, we found similar response, but it failed to demonstrate non-inferiority uh, because the um, limit of, of the um, margin is uh, exceed the 12% planet by protocol. But uh, of note also that this analysis was not pre-planned by protocol. Seven patients uh, had protocol-defined biological failure through week 48. At failure, uh, the viral load was low, and in the patient when the virus could be amplified, we didn't find resistant mutations. Regarding um, immunological response or reconstitution, we can see that the recovery of the CD4 cell was similar between arm con about um, an increase of 2,200 um, cells uh, in both arms, over 2,000. Um, 
in relation to safety profile, uh, we observe about 20% of the subject with adverse event grade two or higher in the arm triplet therapy and 12% in dual therapy with a little difference between arms. Uh, only few adverse events, grade uh, two or higher, were uh, reported in more than 1% of the participants, being the rash, the most frequent, following by diarrhea and abdominal pain that were more frequent in the triplet therapy. Adverse events leading to discontinuation were uh, unusual and similar between arms. Although uh, 20 serious adverse events uh, occurred during the study, only two had a possible relation to the study treatment, uh, both of them in the triple therapy arm. Um, following the anormality in laboratory, we didn't find difference between arms um, or toxicity um, in, in the comparison of, of both arms. But uh, when we compare the norm, the values, uh, the change of the values between baseline and week 48, we uh, find a difference in the on the lipid profile uh, being uh, higher in the dual therapy. However, uh, these uh, changes, uh, these values, uh, do not exceed the normal values as we can see in the uh, slide. In conclusion, in conclusion the gen uh, a generic fixed dose combination of darunavir, ritonavir plus 3TC show non-inferiority compared to a standard of treatment um, in the both analysis, in intention to treat and per protocol population. Biological failure was observed at the low level in both treatment arm. Dual therapy strategy was safe and well tolerated. And uh, based on the results, we uh, think that th this strategy could be considered a possible, a possible strategy for treatment a naive patient, at least for patients with plasma viral load below 100,000 copies. I would like to thank to everyone who has contributed to the success of this study, principally the participants and their family, the clinical investigator and their staff, many of them are here today, and the team of Fundación Huespez for support this study, and principally to Dr. Khan for giving me the opportunity to conduct and present this study today. Uh, thank you for your attention.